So this is video number four in this little mini series and this video is going to be about restricting which users can log on to uh, this Ubuntu Linux machine. Uh, so hi, I'm Matt, welcome to Crazy Logic. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump over into AD. Uh, I've created a group called Linux Users and then I've created two users, user one, user two. User one is a member of this group. Uh, Linux users and user 2 is not a member of the Linux users group so we have one that's a member of one that's not a member of and then of course we still have our administrator account which is not a member of but is a member of the Linux admins group so that's how things are set up within AD so let's jump over to our Ubuntu machine and we'll log in as our local admin day and we'll jump into a terminal and then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go realm list. So uh, in the previous video we changed the login formats to percent %u so it's just the username. Uh, and, but here you'll see the login policy which by default is to allow uh, realm logins which is essentially to allow anyone from the domain to log in. So user 1 would log in, uh, be able to log in and user 2 would be able to log in. So here you see I've just switched user, so I'm now at user 1, and I can also do the same for user 2. And you can see I am user 2. So at the moment all users can log in uh, to this machine. So we'll come out of that, we'll clear this. So the first thing you're probably going to want to do is restrict your user access so that no domain accounts can log in. So the way we do this is using sudo realm, and then we want to deny and then dash dash all. And then again, if we go back to our realm list, you'll see that it says deny any login. So now we're in a state where we can control who can log in. So the way we allow a single user to log in is with uh, sudo realm permit, and then we want to add their username in single quote marks. So sudo realm permit, So we'll allow our administrator, and then if we go back to our realm list, you can see that our permitted logins now includes the administrator. So if you wanted to add a group, uh, you would do almost the same thing, but rather than just permit and then the username, you need to add uh, an option. So dash dash groups, and then add the name of your group. So I'm going to add the Linux users groups that we created in AD that I referenced earlier. And again, if we go back to realm list, you can see that it's now in the permitted groups. So if I now try and switch user to uh, user one, I should be able to. Great. And then if I try it as user two, I should get an error. So that indicates that my rules we've set up are, are working, which is great. So the other thing to be aware of is if you want to deny a single user access in this way. So because we've changed everyone, we've changed the system to deny and then we're allowing a group. If we were then to try and deny a user, it, if they're a member of that group, they would still be allowed. So. Um, I'll sort of show you what I mean. So the uh, command for withdrawing a user um, access is realm permit and then dash x or dash dash withdraw and then the username. So I'm just going to put question mark here for a second. So if I do this, no error occurred. So let's add the dash v uh, and you'll see that it's, it appears to have changed things correctly. However, I don't have a user called question mark uh, and I haven't permitted a user called question mark. So if we go back to the realm uh, list, there, there's been no change. But if I permit the user question mark and then do list, you'll see that that user has been added, even though that user doesn't exist within AD. 
But now if I try and remove that user using this dash X or dash dash with withdraw, you'll see that they've been removed from that list. So the withdraw action only removes them if you've explicitly added them as permission. It doesn't act as a denial for that user. So it's something to be very aware of. Um, but if you're doing it like I'm showing, which is you have a group within AD for your uh, access rights, then removing them from that group within AD will restrict their access so that they can't log on. Uh, so these settings are actually stored somewhere. So if you want to see them, do a sudo nano, and then they are in itsy sssd slash sssd.conf. And you will see them down at the bottom in the simple allow users, simple allow groups. And you can add, add a group here. So let's add the Linux admins group so that they can log on. And you can write that out. If you write to this file in this way, you will have to either restart the SSSD service or uh, restart the machine. But if you use Realm, it does it as part of its process. So just another little gotcha to be aware of. So you may also be aware that you can restrict users in AD from uh, certain machines, or rather you can grant users access to certain machines within AD. So this is in, uh, in the users information. If you go to the account, this is log on to. Now, I've not found this to work very reliable within Linux. So this user, user one, uh, I just set to only be able to log on from our Win 10 machine. So if I now try and switch user to that user account, I've been able to log in or switch user uh, to that user account without any issues. So it's worth noting that that doesn't quite work very well, or it, it may work, but it doesn't seem to work 100% of the time within Linux. So last thing for this video is um, what happens to user accounts that either have the uh, incorrect information incorrect password or do not have access. What error message do they get? So we can see that user two, if user two tries to log on, uh, username goes in fine. And then if we type in the correct password, you'll see that we get this password authentication didn't work, please try again. Uh, and this is basically the same error message you'll get uh, for the wrong password or if the account is not permitted on that machine. So if we try uh, Dave2, Dave2 doesn't exist, but we get the same error message after putting in the password. So this doesn't reveal if a user exists or if they don't have permission to log on. So I'll leave that there for this video. Um, in my next video, I'm gonna look at some uh, other things that you can do within AD and show whether they are reflected or not on the Ubuntu machine. Thanks for watching.